everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder video, and today we're playing in a plane that I haven't really played enough. In fact, I'd hardly played it at all uh, before I got this game, uh, got the footage for this game anyway. It is the BF-109E, the Emil, uh, in particular, the BF-109E1, which is the machine gun only armed variant, rather than the, the other Emils, which have the standard two machine guns in the nose and two cannons in the wings so this only has four machine guns but that is actually going to come in quite handy in this match because we're going to need a lot of ammo and the machine gun variant of the emil carries a lot of ammo so today it's all about being the hun in the sun um although fortunately we do not have to be wary of huns in the suns because we are that hun in the sun uh, unfortunately though, there isn't actually going to be that much um, diving from the sun action, but hey, I needed a cool snappy title, so that is what today's video will be. Um, so yeah, why don't I play the Emil very often? Well, personally, it's just not for me. Um, I have had fun in it, and it is a good plane, but I am much more of a fan of the later variants of the BF-109, namely the BF-109Fs. See, the Emils, well, there's just other planes I'd rather play at this battle rating, I think. But 2.3, there's a, you know, there's a couple of good stuff, like the Warhawk and a bunch of other planes that you're going to see in this battle, actually, uh, that we're going to have to take on. And, yeah, we've got a real great game. It's um, quite, a, quite a tough one. I was going to say quite a long one. It's really not. But um, it felt quite long at the time. It was quite the enduring match, that's for sure. Uh, so... Who will be our first victim? Well, it looks like that IL-2. You probably shouldn't climb in an IL-2, and I'm about to show you why. And he's going to try and stall to try and kill me, but unfortunately, that's not going to work out for him. IL-2 is a bit too slow and heavy to be doing that sort of thing, and, well, now he's just set himself up to fail. So we'll tr reduce the power as we come into the dive here. And even though it's machine guns only, which you will kind of see being somewhat ineffective in dealing the decisive blow on this IL-2. Um, they do work if you can continuously hit the enemy target. So we're going to come around for our second pass. Looks like the team has finally decided to show up. Not that I needed their help with this, but there you go. And although that was a lot of bullets, we did eventually cut their wing off, because the wings of the planes are usually not the parts that are armoured, especially in the IL-2's case. And hello, it's a Soviet King Cobra, uh, a plane that I should be able to outturn. The 109s are not really dogfighters, um, at least not as much as any other planes, but they can hold their own, especially compared to other German planes. Um, oh, there's another King Cobra. So we've got our work cut out for us. Seems like this is an up tier then. So we're going to focus on the premium King Cobra here. He's without flaps, so he shouldn't be able to outturn us. There's a critical hit. Now let's go for the other one. Maybe, uh, there you go. And the Russian one, well, his days are numbered. Doesn't look like he's going to escape this. Want to take him out before his friends show up. And there you go. Kill number three. So, three kills already. What will be next? Also, I'm not sure why it says connecting above my name there. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But oh well. So, now we have some more Russian planes. A MiG-3 and a Yak-1. Um, not exactly excellent planes, uh, one of which, the Big Three, is not a dogfighter, so he shouldn't be too difficult to kill. There you go, we can see them staying on their tail there, and, well, he's not pulling out of that one. Yeah, um, yeah not being a dogfighter does mean that you tend to not turn too well. And, oh my word, things are not getting any easier. They are not leaving us alone. We now have a Warhawk on our tail, as well as a Yak one, and we're going to have to try and dogfight them both at the same time. Uh, as I said, this is not really a Hun in the Sun kind of video. Uh, this is more just dogfighting BF-109 goodness. Um, you know, we really do have some great dogfights in this game. Looks like the P-40 is falling back for now, but unfortunately for this Yak, well, he's made himself a bit too easy to kill there, and there you go. Kill number four. But the P-40 has turned around, and they get some good hits on us. Uh, the first bit of damage we take in this deck game, and that is really going to hamper our ability to continuously and effectively fight the opponent for the rest of this match. Luckily for us, though, 
the enemy team is down down on its last legs. They've only got three planes left, and that P-40 is well and truly leaving us in the dust. And unfortunately for us, I am low and slow. So we're going to go after this other Yak-1 because he's uh, more or less in a fairly easy position right now. However, I might have bitten off a bit more than I can chew. I was hoping that it would be an easy kill because... Uh, He's dogfighting, he's a bit preoccupied with the KO-43, but unfortunately the KO-43 just plants himself into the ground. And amazingly, I don't kill the Yak-1 there. Um, my shoddy aim continues. And oh my word, I've just seen how crazy the tracers are on this. I think that might be a bug. I don't think they were actually like this in the game, but wow, look at that. I like lasers. And as easy as this Yak-1 would be to kill, it looks like... The enemy team has it out for me, and a Yak-7 and the P-40 from earlier have come back for more. And wait for it. Yeah, my manoeuvring, unfortunately, ooh, leads me close to planting into the ground there. I'm amazed I didn't crash there, but unfortunately, the P-40 is still on our 6, and that is the end of our BF-109. But hey, at least the pilot survived. Oh no, it was the Yak-7 that killed me, not the P-40. Never mind. But hey, um, well, luckily, spoiler alert, our team did actually win this game, so uh, yeah. Uh, although the replay doesn't seem to want to continue for much longer, but hey, spoiler alert, we didn't lose. So it wasn't all for nothing, we didn't die in vain, it was an honourable victory, I would say, if you ask me. And if the camera stops bugging around, um, there you go. So yeah, the BF-109 Emil, uh, the E-1 in particular, which is pretty decent as far as German planes go. It's not a bad plane, it's just that I prefer the later variants, like the, well I say later, they're still fairly early. The 109Fs are excellent, this one actually made into my top 10 planes uh, to play. So the 109Fs are really fun. The Gustavs are also quite fun. Um, they're a bit harder to play if you ask me, but they're still fun. And, of course, the eventually you get to the K, which I haven't played yet. I'm a bit nervous because I have heard things. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, then d give it a like. If you didn't, then don't. <laughs> and, uh, of course, subscribe for more. Check out the other content on the channel. And, of course, watch your six and beware of the Hun in the sun. I'll catch you in the next one.